YouTube, it's Lisa. Today I'm gonna do a really quick unboxing. Um, I shouldn't say unboxing, that's not fair. I'm gonna show you a mini little haul that I got from Yoseka Stationery. I tried to do this yesterday and given how things went, I just decided to reshoot the video because I didn't like it. And this one, I'm gonna make it a lot more simpler. Um, I ordered a couple of things from Yoseka and Again, you get the lovely note and the stickers. Um, the first thing I ordered was another Kakamori um, rollerball pen that takes fountain pen ink. I bought the 0.5 size. That's this one. Um, I wanna say towards the end of last year. This is a pretty fine point nib. Like writing with it, it has a pretty decent size ink. Well, as you can see, it's demonstrator style, so it's great so you can see your ink. It does take fountain pen ink. It writes very smoothly, and I really like the pen. However, once I got the Marine um, Special Edition Cult Pens Fountain Pen Ink, which I absolutely fell in love with, um, I decided I wanted to get the bigger size in the .7. Now these come with a little, oh, let me show you there. They give you a pipette and they give you a little cup we go. Um, for you to, I think, rinse and maybe pour ink into the pen, which I wouldn't do. I would actually use the pipette, so it's kind of like an eyedropper. Um, but the great thing about these pens is the fact that it is... Um, able to take fountain pen ink. That is the true joy of, of this. So this is the 0.7. And again, demonstrator style. Pretty decent ink capacity. Um, I think it holds at least a milliliter 0.2 of ink. Um, they're kind of hard to clean, I will say that. So like all demonstrator pens, this nib does not come out. It's a roller ball, it's fixed. It's got a nice grip section, as you can see here. They've got some indentation, but this is a nice Right here, your finger rusts very nice in the grip section, and it's piston filled. So, unscrew this, and then you have your ink capacity. And let's take this out so you can actually see how big it is. Like that. And Yoseka is the only place that I know in the United States that you can buy these at. I haven't seen them on Amazon, but also I have not looked. Um, this ad is not sponsored. I paid for all the supplies that you're seeing today. Um, I'm just a fan of Yoseka because it's a, just a really good um, shop out of New York. Pretty decent um, shipping time frames, not ridiculous. But yeah, this will definitely hold probably like a millimeter 0.2 of ink in it. You fit it into the feet. I always like to twist these even though they're not screw in just to help kind of seal the capacity and then it comes up like that. So that is the 0.7. It still looks like now because these are Japanese um, pens, they're gonna be a little bit finer than what we're used to on a Western style medium uh, point pen. So it's still gonna be a little bit on the fine side, I think, um, as a 0.7 which tends to write like a 0.5 to me, Western style, and the 0.5 tends to write like a 0.38, or at least a 0.4. And this is the itty bitty nib on the 0.5. So I did that one. I have not inked these up. I mean, I've inked up the 0.5. I have not inked up the 0.7 yet. Not sure what ink I'm gonna stick in that pen quite yet. Um, the next thing I purchased is, I've been seeing these and I like my Sailor fountain pen a lot. And this is a 0.1 stub uh, calligraphy pen from, and I also got this at Yoseka as well. Um, it's in the Compass series. The name of it is the actual High Ace Neo uh, Concept or Clean. That's that right there. And that's the style of calligraphy you can achieve potentially, if you're very skilled um, doing this. It does come with an ink cartridge. It does not come with a converter. Um, and it is able to take a converter though. So I think it takes the Sailor proprietary converters. I had a dickens of a time opening this up yesterday. So I'm really glad that I kind of 
taken that angst out of it. I taped these because they were they were falling out all over the place, and I've already put the one converter that was in it in the pin. Um, so reading the instructions comes in under that. It comes with the pen unclipped, and here it is. Nice little thin pen. So it kind of comes like this and all kind of deconstruct it with the converter and I mean the cartridge out of it. So the cartridge is with the other two. And here's the nib. Make sure you like that. That's the nib on it. And I will say the first time you put the, the um, cartridge into the feed mechanism, it does take a while for the ink to flow down. This is completely, I'm sorry. This is completely transparent when you first get it until you ink it for the first time. And then as you can see with all the black, that's the ink coming down through the feed. And then it feeds into the nib unit right here and the breather hole. And it's a nice little, um, is that a heart? Looks like a heart. Very nice. Um, and it took a little bit and it was really scratching. It was really hard for me to start up when I first did this yesterday. Um, now that it's fed, <laughs> and capped and inked, it is really quite nice. So it's a finer 1.1, um, so this is the, and it's gonna probably take just a second for the ink to kind of flow down, there we go, 1.1. This is a sailor. And there is a little bit, I'm writing this on, let me scroll zoom in so you guys can see this. I'm writing this on Tomo River paper from um, Goulet and not very well. Uh, let's see, what is this? Hi, Ace Neo, okay. As you can hear on the paper, probably a little bit scratchy. Uh, this is a calligraphy. And the good thing about calligraphy pens is stubs in general. Just pull this away. Go to back out. Is they make your handwriting look much better than it really is a uh, pen. But the angle and holding it at a 45 definitely will help lend to that kind of um, nice italic stub look. Let's see if I can pull this. I've got my tripod stand legs in the way. Um, so that's what this looks like. It does keep up once you get it going. And this is Tomo River paper, which we all know is the best. Kind of not a wet, wet writer, but not completely dry. I would say it's kind of medium. Um, so this is once again, the Sailor High A's calligraphy pen in a 1.1. I think they have it in another size. You can get it in another size, but I definitely see the 1.1. I know it's on Goulet and also Yoseka. So there's that. Um, additionally, I went ahead and I inked up um, for my last video. I showed you guys my brand new Sailor Pro uh, Profit um, 14 karat gold nib, zoom nib. Uh, pen. So I inked that one up. I put into that one Robert Oster Thunderstorm ink. <clears throat> and I absolutely love the Zoom nib. I'm not going to post the um, fountain pen, but it has really good weight. And I want to show you guys the tippage on this. That's the nib on it. It's just a really gorgeous pen. I love the Zoom nib really really pretty and the way that I've discovered after playing with it yesterday for the first time if you write with the pen like this almost perpendicular to the paper it gives you a thinner line and then if you write with more of the nib down on the paper like in the 45 degree angle that I would normally kind of write or kind of 33 degree it's going to give you a broader line but this is the um, this is this pen is great. So this is the Sailor, 14 karat gold, zoom nib. Okay, so that's what that looks like, and I'll zoom that in so that you can see it. And I'm going to make some adjustments. So excuse me, I just want to move this so you guys 
get a better angle on it. Now I'm gonna hold this down more at a 45 degree angle and you'll see the line variation on this. So this is a uh, Robert Oster, I think this is, yeah, Oster Thunderstorm ink. And once again, I write down like that, you get the finer line. If I go like this, you get a thicker line. Very smooth pen, great writer, great ink flow. This is gonna be, again, a little bit wetter of a ink, um, but I love the pen. I absolutely love the pen, and I'm really glad that I was able to <clears throat> get this pen from Amazon for under $100, a little over $100 with um, shipping. I have an affiliate with affiliate link with Amazon, so I'll put it back um, below again, just in case anybody wants to try to snag one of these. I don't know how many they have in stock um, at the time of filming and getting this released, but you can at least take a gander and see if you can get that and it'll help out my channel as well. Um, that's it. I have not inked, oh, let me try to ink up the 0.7, um, the 0.7. So I've got two grays, a black. I've got my ink samples that I got from Van Ness pen that I absolutely love. Let's do a, I'm trying to stick with the winter theme. So I was trying to get blue and blue grays. Um, okay, I haven't used this one. This is KWZ Gray Plum. Let's go ahead and just ink up the 0.7 Takamori roller ball. Oh, I like to try the eyedropper. I like to do these with a syringe. So just grab my syringe here. Since this doesn't have a large ink capacity, it shouldn't take much to do that. A little bit too much. Let's put that in there. Get that out. Uh, let's see what this color looks like since I've got this little drop here. And let me suck a little bit of that out. There we go. I have not tried this purple yet, this purple plum. And put that in the Kleenex on the side here. And make sure I don't spill any of that. All right. I think I got enough ink in here to hopefully get a good sample in. And We'll just let that kind of drip down for just a second, get into the feed. This is gonna probably take a little bit of... And I think I shorted myself. Okay, so I should have probably um, burped this a little bit better than I did. So, let me just... My tendency sometimes is to want to try to treat um, rollerball pens like fountain pens, and I don't know if I can actually do that. Uh, I know my last one, I think it took a little bit to get it going. And this one, I'm just not exactly sure. And 
it's gonna take a little bit to get this writing, I think. Forcing ink into the feed area. And it's always rough. Oh, it's starting to come. It's always rough trying to get these. Ah, there we go. Start it. Okay, so. Not bad. Um, it's kind of like a pale purple gray, just like it says, the name implies. Um, once you get it going, it keeps up. Uh, not as juicy as a nib as I thought it was going to be, but not horrible. That ink's good, it's good kind of wetness though. Yeah, this is nice. This is gonna be great. I can throw this into my bag and not worry about it, plus have the variety of ink. So, I hope you like this video. It's just a really quick uh, preview of three pens, two new, this one not so new as new, but still new-ish, because I just got it not too long ago. Um, I hope you guys liked the um, review. Please give me a thumbs up. I'll put the links below, like I said, in um, the comment section for all three of these pens and the price points. Oh, this one, I didn't talk to you about the price point. These are both of, in both sizes are $27 from Yuseka. So I will definitely put that link below. And this one is only like 12 bucks. So fun, 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 fun. I hope everybody liked the video. Thanks for stopping by. Please be safe out there. Take care. Until next time. Bye.